Right, guys, I've got a very short clip here from Parliament featuring a Tory MP speaking the other day about his dear and wondrous leader, Kim Jong Boris, the tin pot dictator of this banana republic that we live in now. His name is Bill Wiggins, but we will call him Bill Wangstein from now on because this tosspot actually sat on Zoom to Parliament eating Boris Johnson's arse out with a silver spoon. He did this by attacking the public for its varied but legitimate criticism of this government and its lunacy. Obviously, we've had the rules for thee, but not for me. Hypocrisy that is laughable at best, along with the outright lies used to push his ministerial diktat into law, sometimes in literally just hours. Couple that with threats, coercion and bribes into doing what he wants, I would say Boris Johnson is making North Korea look like a good place for a holiday right now. But this twat's attack on public criticism shows just how scummy these so-called public servants really are. To Bill Wigan. Bill? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given the global pandemic, public criticism of my right honourable friend's extraordinary leadership should be dismissed. He put the lives of my constituents first and has had to adapt to the lessons that COVID-19 has taught us. Sadly, the same cannot be said for the handling of tuberculosis by DEFRA. Will my right honourable friend meet me to discuss the current TB strategy and how we can improve it? Given the global pandemic, public criticism of my right honourable friend's extraordinary leadership should be dismissed. He put the lives of my constituents first and has had to adapt to the lessons that COVID-19 has taught us. Well, there you heard it, guys. Because a shit show is going on, criticising his dear leader should not be allowed, which is likely something many in the Tory party itself actually think. This is something the government ministers support without doubt because we've seen their plan to give journalists 14 years in prison for embarrassing them. In fact, this all just shows the sort of dictatorship they want here when criticism of their own stupidity or corruption will get you more time in prison than the nonce or child rape gangs up in Rotherham do. I would say it's incredible, but I kind of expect this shit from these tosspots here. Conservatives my ass, a bunch of commie conservatives as I've said. And let's not forget, it's against the paedophiles' human rights to have digital ID, but vaccine passports for the population is perfectly fine. A dirty nonce cunt literally has more human rights than you do these days. Think about that for a minute. 